Yo, what is up, everybody? The Pack and Go versus Flight Mike is here. This is like two weeks in the making, as you can check out our lineup. We have quite a few good players. Definitely happy with the lineup. We have we have Antonio Brown, a pretty deadly wide receiving trio. And then when you look at the defensive side, we got Paella, we got Hardy, we got Doomerville, and the 85 overall Ryan Shazier. So quite a few top-notch players on this team, and Alshon Werner at cornerback. And then the quarterback situation might be the most interesting of this team. Jameis Winston and Michael Vick are both capable of starting, especially on, if you check out Mike's team, he's got Matt Castle, the silver Matt Castle starting. He can use Winston or Vick. We have both of them. I'm not sure which one to use, so I'm going to give Winston the start and see what happens. But yeah, this game was two weeks in the making. You see second down and 14. He just lobs it up. I think it's Julio Jones. Pretty damn good looking receiver over there who almost caught that pass. Then third down, he just dumps it down. And that's going to force a punt. So that's definitely a win for our defense to start the game. But yeah, um, you saw me open legend packs. You didn't see Mike open like veteran packs because it was just such a mess trying to get this game going. You guys don't know how, um, <laughs> so how much troubles me and Mike had trying to get this game together. But we finally got it going here. As you see Ryan Matthews running up the middle, only getting two yards. That's going to bring up a third down and Jameis wins than all we just had the rb receiver break free but the pressure came through and we punt the ball so back-to-back -back punts by both of us to start the game off it's a little bit of a defensive grind early on here so um yeah i'm thankful we got this game in with mike this is the rematch with mike because the first game we played against him our um, PS4 froze, like, near the end of the game. It was, like, in the fourth quarter, early in the fourth quarter, and our game randomly froze his intro roll somehow comes with that pick. I mean, it wasn't, like, triple coverage there. We did drop it. I have no idea how intro roll got that as we run the flea flicker immediately after he throws the pick and get a gain of 26 to Antonio Brown. Obviously, we're looking for Brown as a fumble occurs here. I believe we had Jameis in the game, and Jameis fumbled the ball. So, pretty much from that point on, I'm like... You know, we got to start getting Mike Vick some more touches because James is a little bit messy. So on third down and seven, I tried to run some option with Vick and it looked like we had a clear lane, but a cornerback from behind blitz and got us and good play call by Mike. That's going to force us to take a field goal. And once again, a lot of kicking going on, whether it's punting or kicking. And uh, yeah, hopefully we could break that streak before Mike does because eventually one of us is going to knock it into that end zone. And we just got to make sure it's us and not him at second down and five. He's trying to make sure he's the first one to get a little touchdown dance going on. But um, definitely check out Mike's channel if you have not yet. Obviously, you know, we already talked about Mike the first time we played, so you guys might have already checked them out. But if you haven't yet, despite that read he made, definitely go check the main. Oh, he's got some great content on his channel, some great live comms, and all, all sorts of cool stuff, man. Mike's definitely a good guy, and, um... You know, definitely be cool. You guys give him a chance as Ryan Matthews hits a spin move there. We just baited him with Antro Row. That was pretty cool. As Jameis. Jameis is not playing another down. We call a timeout. I'm like, no, Jameis. And eventually, Jameis comes in the game. Can I forget to sub out Vic? And we barely get that first down to Antonio Brown. I could easily have been picked off. That was a very risky throw. And I'm like, Ryan Matthews is a better quarterback than Jameis. That's not true. Michael Vick is probably a better quarterback than Jameis in this game. Not because he can throw better, but because he's faster. Michael Vick, 26 yards into the end zone. Touchdown. Just no contained by the defense. Probably has to do with poor overall players. And Michael Vick, of course. He's got that 89 speed, I believe, to take it all the way to the crib. That was a big touchdown there. Finally, someone gets a crib call. It's us, and it's a run with Michael Vick. So, we'll definitely take that. And that's just... The weapon of having a running quarterback in a pack and go is Mike is struggling to get just a single first down right now. He punts the ball again. Um, of course, in the last pack and go we played, I spotted Mike seven points by accident by throwing a pick six. So, you know, this time we didn't do that. And what do you know? We're fair and out better here. As you see, I was actually throwing that to the circle receiver. Not going to lie. That might have been picked off. It looked like Mike might have been on track to pick that off. Thankfully, Jared Cook or whoever the hell tied in intercepted that. And we end up... Keeping the drive alive and now it's second down and six. Running a little counter for Ryan Matthews. Getting some positive yards. Definitely won the first down there. But on third down and two, Ryan Matthews barely gets us the first down. We needed two yards and we got about two and a half yards as a minute or so right before halftime. We're looking to get one more touchdown. That's a little bit too much to ask. We put a 17-0 deficit on Mike. That might be a little bit too much to overcome as Ryan Matthews. Ryan Matthews into the end zone for a touchdown. Matthews spinning, breaking a tackle. 
that's not what exactly you expect from Ryan Matthews, but oh, we, we just put the moves on with the 80 overall running back right there. Matthews has got some sneaky good stats, so we definitely made use of him there. And of course, Mike, third down and 18, he's just trying to get anything going. Any sort of points before ad time would be nice. And he lobs it to, I believe, Julio Jones, who comes down with the catch over. I believe that's um, Werner, our best cornerback. So um, thank you, Werner. And now Sonny gets to slam the middle field with nine seconds left. He's got a touchdown call coming up. He lobs it to the outside, but Matt Castle misses the mark. Looked like his man had a step, but with five seconds left, he's trying to take a shot to the end zone. Does not get it. Two seconds left. He just takes his field goal. If you guys remember the last game me and Mike played, he was in pretty much the same scenario right before halftime as he comes out onside kicking. Hold up. He's coming out onside kicking. I was thinking he might, and I wasn't able to audible in time and check out this mess, and eventually Mike is on top of the pile with one of his players, and he gets the on-site recovery i was trying to you know do the audible but i kind of forgot how to do it and plus be on the ps4 it my mind just drew a blank and next thing you know he was on siding it and um it was a struggle for someone to catch it now suddenly mike's right back in this game just like that snap at a finger but yeah the last game you might play he went for it right before the end of half did not get any points so this time he got his field goal and now all of a sudden he can make it a one possession game because he got that field goal he's rolling out obviously needing a touchdown five yards away matt castle gets nothing there next play he comes out five wide and gets picked off by dante robinson i think he was looking for steven jackson on that play and instead he found our 75 overall cornerback who did a pretty decent job on Steven Jackson there. Even though, you know, despite him being a running back in second down and six, we're looking to go deep for T.Y. Hilton. And T.Y. gets us a first down. You see Mike Vick four for four passing, so... You know, Vic's definitely doing his thing. Ryan Matthews is starting to get loose out here. Eight rushes for 67 yards. We hit T.Y. in a little drag route there, but T.Y.'s not able to get much. So on the next play, we're going to run the flea flicker again. It worked once, so why not try it again? Rolling out with Winston going downfield for Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown, what a catch. Gets the touchdown in the back of the end zone. Antonio Brown known for his footwork, and now it's his 3-24 game. His deficit is almost insurmountable to overcome and we will never know whether he overcomes it again because my ps4 or not my ps4 my madden freeze it again i don't know why madden keeps on freezing on the ps4 it's pretty annoying but um this is the way the game ends again so i don't know man i, I mean i guess we won the game you know the way the track was going I mean, we had to leave both times at froze. It's just frustrating. I think he's on freezing. I just want to play a full game with Mike. We're just having fun, you know? And it just sucks that it happens. So, um, definitely, once again, check out Mike's channel because he's got some good stuff on there. Leave a like in the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys next time.